Welcome back to Dungeon Runners. We just defeated Metaton. The elevator is in use. Of course it is. Wow. Parallax for the win. Yeah. I think someone's listening to country music outside. <laughs> Do you hear it? I mean, I, I hear something. <laughs> right. It's a little too quiet. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. New home. This music sounds like it belongs at the Whoa. end of a... It's a golden flower. This house looks very familiar. It's... It's Toriel's house. Yeah. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books of how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. I don't think so. The coals are still warm. Oh, there's fights in here? A long time ago, a human fell into the- Nope, they're telling a story! Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh, this is heartwarming. There's a key. Take, you took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Yeah. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. This is Toriel's house! There's some white fur stuck in the drain. The stovetop is very clean, so it must be using fire magic instead. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. I ate the butterscotch pie! Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get past, get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. two beds here. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. I'm gonna leave that. What a comfortable bed. If you laid down here, you most likely would never get up. Creepy. It's a drawing of a golden flower. It's a, fo it's a family photo. Everyone's smiling. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. <laughs> <laughs> must be a kid's room. It's a twin-sized bed. Dusty toys. It's a golden flower. Room under renovations. Of course. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Dude, we're really close to the end. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Despite everything, it's still you. That's heartwarming. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages say, It's nice today. It's a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champ. It's 98. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> it's a bureau. It's a Santa Claus outfit inside. <gasps> He's Santa Claus! Aww. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. It's a king size bed. Well, I'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Is this. This must be Asgore's house then. That looks like Tor. Asgore's room. And Toriel's room was in the second door. And oh. this room was in renovations in the other game. Yeah. But why wouldn't they sleep together if their husband and. If they're like together, they could be. <sighs> My theory? Asri Toriel's the queen. They're both goat people. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. And they both have that emblem. Or. I mean, Toriel has that emblem that's everywhere on, in this game. And this is Toriel's house, and there's snails and shit in here. And, yeah. Okay. That's my theory. I don't know if I'm right, but I think that's it. 
If not, there's going to be a lot of shipping on DeviantArt anyway. Then, one day, Viren became very ill. Oh no. Is it because he kept feeding him snails? <laughs> the sick human had only one request. To steal flowers from their village. There was nothing we could do. Huh. The next day... The next day... The human died. Shit! Ow! Azrael, wracked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Wait. Asgore and Toriel. Azrael! Oh! <laughs> We already cracked the case. The human soul, as we all crossed the barrier, he carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Dude, the, they also get like big. They get scary when they eat human souls. That's kind of like an um, a cave story reference. Oh, with the, the Amigas. And they ate the red flower. Yeah. As we all reached the center of the village, there he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Dude, I can't take you seriously with that rubber ducky. <laughs> Suddenly, screams rang out. The villager saw Azrael holding his body. He thought that he had killed a child. Of course they did, because that's how misunderstandings are. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with the blow after the blow. As well as the power to destroy them all. Damn. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Huh. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh shit. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. Damn. Humans had once again taken everything from us. Shit. Oh god. In this game, the humans are the bad guys. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Ah! This is right in the fields, man. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. King Asgore will let us go. If you're gonna read, you want to speak up a bit? You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I don't know what I am. I'm very ambivalent right now. I have a lot of conflicting emotions. You're going to be free. And you're creepy. What's down here? Uh. Oh, there's the elevator. Last corridor. Mm. Shit, man. Oh yeah, there's the. Symbol. Yeah, there's the symbol. This is the castle, I guess. Oh. I know that silhouette. Safe. So That's uh, you. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together. You will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's EXP? EXP. It's an acronym. It stands for... 
Execution points. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> You know what they say about assume? Yeah. <laughs> a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. <laughs> Holy shit. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. That's just telling you about the, more, the experience trope. <laughs> the more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggle of hardship you've faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? No. Maybe not. Okay. No. You're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called the termination. <laughs> so as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And he's gone. Crazy. How the fuck does he do that? I, I mean, think I, he's... I mean, I know you already said, like... <laughs> yeah, he's just he's so just lazy. He's just too lazy. I think he's a, um... The embodiment of judgment. Because he's... You're so, in these halls. Is, is there, like, anything else we need to do before we, like... Well, I want to go use that key that we bought. I don't know where it goes, but we'll figure it out. Next time on Dungeon Runners, we'll... Ugh. I guess we'll figure out what we'll do next time. I don't think we're gonna fight the king yet. I, I wanna make sure we got, we, we've got we done everything. We got a mystery key, and I need food. So... Oh, yeah. We'll go from there. Next time, guys. <laughs>